my favorite quiet luxury items from my collection. Hi, my name is Angie. I am here to help you elevate your lifestyle, find elegance, femininity, and sophistication in your life. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite pieces from my collection that are actually quite discreet, but very, very luxurious indeed. Let's get started. Quiet luxury is a term used nowadays to describe people that wear wealthy, more expensive items, but that are quite discreet and not screaming logos. And to be honest, I am in love with such a movement because it allowed more and more people to be able to wear things that are expensive, but discreet and have less of the propaganda stuff. And the first item I'm gonna start is quite a propaganda item. We all know the Neverfull, uh, Demier or the Monogram, but have you been aware with the EP Leather collection from Louis Vuitton? This is my Neverfull in EP Leather. Uh, I chose the black one and it's fully black from inside and from the outside. The only logo this bag has is this very, very small monogram. I'm not sure if you can see it over here, but it is made out of leather and when I bought this, the difference between it and the Neverfull in monogram wasn't so big of a difference in price. However, this one is fully leather, which makes it much more better quality for the money that you're paying. However, it's also worth noting that this kind of bag is very discreet. Whenever I wear it, it has the efficiency of a Neverfull, but no one knows that it is screaming luxury except people who are into luxury and ep leather is actually done by louis vuitton for a lot of their models i've had before and i think i shared it in a haul video before the alma bb in the ep leather in pink color but i returned it and i got the implanet pochette matisse in beige uh, but it's also it was beautiful and sophisticated Another bag I have in my collection that is the epitome of discretion, and I hate that Celine changed this bag quite a lot, was the Celine box bag. This was one of the very, very first bags I got uh, that were expensive, and it was at that time the same amount of money for a Chanel classic flat, but I chose this. This hardware, they don't make those anymore. It was beautiful. It has a long strap. I've seen people wear it as a clutch as well. It has beautiful capacity. I've made a what's in my bag video before with this bag. It's beautiful quality, amazing quality for, for the price you pay. Another bag in my collection that speaks the epitome of discretion is the Gucci Jackie. Uh, the Gucci Jackie is a beautiful model. This is a vintage one and I made a refurbishment on it. If you remember, I will post the video of me refurbishing it. You can find this in the secondhand market very, very cheaply. And it's such a good quality bag, such a good classic model. The newer version of this one with a different type of uh, metal piece is also very, very discreet and very, very sophisticated and elegant. So you can get this in the classic vintage ones or you can also get the one that is nowadays uh, promoted. I also love the design of this. Very, very classic. The Gucci classic line actually have my heart, which I will share a couple of pieces from it. These are the Oxfords from Gucci, and these are from the classic line, and I got these secondhand a while ago, but the craftsmanship on these, you see, they are well-worn. Uh, the craftsmanship on these, impeccable. These are in suede black leather. I love them, and they have the this very, very popular Gucci metal piece that is actually inspired by equisitarian um, stuff. And nowadays you can find this type actually as a scarf ring from Hermes, which I'm, I've been eyeing and thinking about. I love scarf rings. If you've seen my latest Instagram post about the scarf ring I purchased, I'm absolutely in love and I'm wearing it every day almost. Uh, so this is also something from Discreet Luxury that I own. Another Discreet Luxury shoe is the uh, Chanel Ballet Flats in full black. These are also very, very well worn by me. These are the epitome of style because people 
from far cannot tell that these are luxury shoes but the quality and how much they last is impeccable and it's also fitting within the quiet luxury movement somehow when i wear these absolutely amazing and actually a quick unboxing to this beauty over here this is one of my newest purchases and it is also fitting under the quiet luxury um, and it is from gucci by the way gucci outlet is always full of good bargains and let me unbox this for you it comes with the gucci of course let me try to unbox it for you on the height Do -do. <laughs> oh, more unboxing but these are also the classic sandals by gucci with the same kind of emblem i love these they look amazing on and i can't wear them in summer and as you can see these are very very classy and elegant i'm not a big fan of the gucci uh, scream in your face kind of design and that's why this fits in the quiet luxury so well back in the days um, the birkins and kelly's used to fit in also the quiet luxury movement but i don't think it is the same case anymore however two bags i am eyeing from hermes like i know that these will be my two first bags from hermes hopefully are the hermes Rouet and picaton both of them are beautifully minimal and not a lot of people know about them unlike the Hermes um, Birkin or Kelly they're very sophisticated of course amazing quality leather and I think the way is the same structure of the Constance however it is much more discreet the Constance is too strong with the H actually i have a theory that this bag is also very very close to the concept of the constants but i also like it more you can find this in the secondhand market currently a lot cheaper and in outlets from celine i'm not sure if it's still available but yeah those are the things that came to my mind so far to share with you as a quite luxury item let me know in the comment section down below if you found such a video amusing and if you want to see more and i will make sure to share that with you and a quick hint a quite luxury item nowadays i'm seeing is pull-in uh, for bags they have such a good quality there is a guy on tiktok i will put his name and put his video about pull-in somewhere here he deconstructs leather goods um, and reviews them from his point of view and i think that's such a good way to know if something is really really good quality or not and good quality is actually the epitome of quiet luxury so make sure to get into this and know more and look more into the quality of the materials you're purchasing better than just purchasing things in general that have a logo so don't be running after a logo run after a good product i mean you know for for example i'm wearing now a polish shirt and it has one of the small logos there are ones i've seen nowadays that have the very very big logo on and for me that just doesn't make so much sense you don't have to be screamed in your name there is no shame of course of being uh, into logos but there is beauty in looking into the form that you like and the quality more than just the screaming logo or label and being a walking brand leaflet to everyone i hope you enjoyed that video and i'll see you in the next one subscribe for more like or dislike the video turn on notification bell follow me on instagram we're trying to reach to 10,000. can't wait i can't wait to share with you the surprises i have at 10,000. and i will see you in my next video bye bye